Let me show you how to make a bookmark card. Come on in. Hello everybody, this is Julia Laird with Senior Susie Stamps. This week I needed some mini slimline cards, so I got my cutting template out and uh, cut some. And the way this cutting template works, you cut four and a quarter and then you cut another half inch off. That leaves six and a quarter. And then I make mine six and a half. So that leaves this little two inch by six and a quarter inch piece. And I have never used those for bookmarks before today, but today I decided I was gonna make some bookmarks out of this piece right here. So let me show you what I've done. They're easy to make, and I had some abstract acrylic paint pieces left from a project that I was working on uh, last week, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if those would be pretty. This is what I came up with there. Now you can see it, and on top of that um, piece of acrylic paint, then I went back in with some uh, VersaFine Claire ink and did a stamp on top of that and then you open this up and I typed this up on my computer on just regular copy paper and taped it to the inside but then these little um, bookmarks have an extra little secret sentiment when you pull them out isn't that fun I just think that's fun and uh, they're very very simple to make so let me show you how I did that oh well first of all let me show you some other examples because you might not like this abstract art. Not everybody does, and that's perfectly okay. Well, here's another one. It's a little more wild, isn't it? <laughs> I just made this one into a happy birthday. And there's the sentiment inside. So every time a person uses this, they slip it down over their book like so. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to include this little card back so that people would know what they're supposed to do with them on how they're supposed to put them on their book it should be pretty obvious but some people need a little guidance you know and uh, so that's what came up with that also they fit in these number seven coin envelopes which makes them very handy to be able to mail to someone or give here's another one and on this one um this is that stints i'm sorry this is that rub on that i got from the dollar tree and then on the inside i stamped celebrate you and i stenciled on the black with some pearlescent uh, pigment ink and this is what the back looks like there's three or four ways that you can do the backs of these i'll show them to you in just a sec so there's this one a friend is what the heart needs all the time. Isn't that sweet? And then here's the back of that. And on these bookmarks, there's plenty of room on the back if you want to write a sentiment that stays with the bookmark. And here's the last one. It's kind of a monochromatic. And there's the back. So let's look at some backs. And then we'll make one right quick because they don't take very long at all to make. These are kind of the three styles that I have uh, used today in making these. I think this one actually holds the bookmark the best. This one is a little bit of a headache to make because you got to put it on your surface and cut it with an exacto knife or figure out exactly where you're going to cut it with your uh, little blade cutter. This one works fine. Um, it works better, let me say, if you have a wide piece like this rather than narrow and put it in the middle. But I think this one works best. It uses two bookmark blanks. I have two different punches. This is one that I got recently. It's a Bira Bira. I got it from Amazon. But it has that big, um, chunky cutout, which I thought was nice for those big wide ribbons. But this one is a uh, Stampin' Up! punch, and I thought we would use it today. So this is six and a quarter by two, and I'm just going to slide that right up in there to the very end and cut it on both of them. And I get my scoring tool, and I'm going to score 
back down off of this. Let's score this one at five inches. On both of them. On these, when you glue them together, you want the bump out. So put the, the bump out on both of them when you glue them. But I think I'll go ahead and round these corners. So I thought we would use some of these stick-on butterflies today and see how they turn out. And I'm gonna kind of stay in a purple and pink hue today, I think, because the um, backer that I have is this one and I want it to kind of coordinate a little bit. I think there's three or four of them on here that have some of that kind of purpley stuff on them. I thought it would be fun just to, because you know, sometimes when you're using up scraps like this, you just really need something easy in a go-to kind of fashion that you don't have to fool around with too much. Now, all we're going to do is flip these over and trim them. And you can see I've, lot, I've left the uh, fold in there. Ooh, and you know what I just noticed? Is these little tiny flowers. Let's add some of those. <laughs> this would be fun to give to a little teacher. I used to read a lot more than I do now. My vision's not as good as it used to be. And so... I don't read as much as I used to. Okay, so I'm going to use my Teflon bone folder and just go over that and rub it in good so that it won't loosen up on me. You have to be careful that you don't peel it back. So I'm rubbing flat on these. Now, I'm going to fold this back and I'm going to do it bump in just like that. So ultimately they'd be glued together like this. And I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I think I'll make this one a happy birthday. This is a cute little sentiment. It's got kind of a funky font on it. It's a sweet card. Okay, let's see if I can get it on there right. There we go. And I'm going to glue one side with my art glitter glue, being careful not to pass this line in any way, shape, or form. And then when you put them together, you kind of have to be a little careful that you don't drag um, glue down in there. Just snuggle them up right there like that. Give them a little minute to dry. Make sure the rest of your bookmark is coming together well. There. And now, with this one, this little purple piece, and again, I used scraps for these. All of those are different sizes. Um, but most generally, they're three inches wide and about five inches long. So I'm going to slip this in. And because this is two inches, I cut this at about two and a half inches long. And there. Now I'll have to add a tail. So I found a little ribbon that I think might be cute with that. And I'm just going to turn it doubled like this and kind of squeeze it up there to go through this small hole. Bring it around. And here's where you're going to appreciate this double layer when you're pulling these back. If you're easy on it just a little bit, it won't rip your bookmark end at all. And I think I'm going to put some little tails on that and make it a little longer than the other ones were. <laughs> there. I think it's cute. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Y'all have a great week. Bye-bye.